Hi. I know, when I started all of this, it was sunshiny out there. And I also had contacts. But then my eyes started hurting. But I did my whole makeup. I mean, I think I look cute. I'm pretty happy. It's like the whole Becca stuff. Anyway, enough about that. I'm talking about the Ipsy. Okay, I know everybody does the Ipsy thing. Why not? I mean, I get cool stuff. And I like it. So, this one's bag. Um, it's got like a leather feel to it. I don't know. Um, they're useful. I, I put them to use on their own. Oh, eyelashes. These, I mean, my eyelashes are long to begin with. But this one's theme is go there. Well, I ain't going nowhere, okay? I don't like leaving the house. And we're going to look in here. So I already kind of know what's in here, obviously. Anybody looks at my anything social media, I posted the whole things and I was a nerd and did all the math and it's a super great value by the way so I do know kind of what's in here so I usually would have touched up my eyebrows after did this whole thing but I know there's an eyebrow thing in here so I didn't do that and you know I'm loving this topper like this Becca one that I got yesterday I'm living for it but I know that I was getting one in Ipsy. And um, it's from Ofra. I've heard again that's like a brand that I, I can't afford. Yay, I got some. I mean, the picture, like I said, this is five grands. And if you're going to buy like this at the store for 20 bucks, it's six grand. Well, I mean, we'll get to the point that I, I actually finished a, a lip topper before. Usually, like, I have enough. I mean, I'm not going to miss, like, one gram. And it looks like I have a big white spot right there. <laughs> oh, well, I don't. So, we're going to try this on. But first, we're going to look at everything else that's in there. Because I want to leave this as much as I can. Oh, and um, if you want to buy the full size, it says use code IPSY30 for 30% off at Offer Cosmetics. Cool. I'm going to shake it up a little bit. I think it's been like... Maybe it's broken. I don't know. Can you see the this, that? I don't know. We haven't opened up yet. Maybe we should. Yes, let's open. Let's just see. Because sometimes things break, okay? Meal people are... The delivery people are nice. Seems okay. So. Oh, I love that color. Ooh, that's nice. And it's matte. It's not very glossy. It's drying down. Long lasting liquid lipstick. Ipsy unzipped. So yes, this is a color they made just for Ipsy. Yay! Super happy with that. Move on to the next one. Because I don't want to make this too long. And um, this is a little sponge. Makeup sponge. And what kind of sucks about living in Canada and whatnot is that it, it takes a little bit longer for us to get it in Canada. And the YouTube people kind of sometimes like ruin it. So, okay, it's this big and... I, I can't work with that. But, you know, I, I looked at it all up first. And if you're going to buy this on the website, because it's Miss Glam. It's the name. I don't know. Miss Glam. I'm supposed to put my hand behind? I don't, I don't know how to do this stuff. It's, I don't know, I'll link it. MS, MS, I don't know. Whatever. On their website, it's $22.50. For this. 
I mean, I like it. I, I'm, I like this, like, consistency. I'm sure I'm going to love it and put it to good use. I just don't know if, like, I were to go to the store, I would, no, I would not pay that much. I don't think I, no. I mean, even if I saw it at Winners for, like, six, I wouldn't. But, I'm not going to complain. It came with this. It might be amazing and awesome. But I still think that 22 something for this. But that's my point of view. I'm getting to pull my glasses up so I can see. But my lashes get in the way. Ooh. I have naturally long lashes anyway. So. Alright. This is funny. I mean I knew it was going to be a little small thing. Because it's like worth like a bazillion dollars per freaking ounce. But really, like really, we're going to compare that to a lipstick. Like I've had Halloween candy in bigger boxes than this. Um, but it does say on the website that you need one drop for your under eye. So I'll get back to you on that in a little bit to see if the one drop works. Like look. How teeny weeny that is. Whoa. So the next thing we're gonna pull out is this Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. It's a really, really long name for a thing, but whatever. I knew it was coming, I did all the math and all that kind of whatnot, and I can't remember what it was. But anyway, I think it's six point I don't know. It's expensive, okay? Nothing that I can ever afford. However, it came in the Ipsy, which is why I think it's worth it. <clears throat> Again, I have a lot of other stuff. So, <clears throat> this is cool. And I don't think this is, like, that bad of a size of a sample. Like, there's more than one use out of this. Now... Again, I can't afford usually this stuff, so yay, you know? I'll just add it when I can. <clears throat> Those people out there, you know, again, they've put it to the test. And, um, they say there's flashback. Okay? Do I care about that? No. Because, I mean, I take a lot of selfies, but I never really do, like, flash photography. I'm no model, okay? I don't... I get it. To me, it's not a problem. So there's this little hole. That's all it is. So there's, I like this. It's got little teeny mini holes. Let's see if you can see them. They're like that tiny. There you go. Teeny mini little holes. And you drop them in the cover so that you don't accidentally spill everything everywhere. That's great. So this is. Ooh, that's meld really fine. And it feels so soft. I just put some on my hand. It re oh my gosh, it makes my feel... It feels like silk. So yeah, I'm going to work with it. Again, I don't take flash photography. What? I don't know. Not my thing. And this is the lipstick, like, drying down. It's like a nice matte... But not quite matte. Like there's a little sheen to it. That's great. Love it. The last thing in there. So the bag goes to my collection. Is Sugar Cosmetics Eyebrow something. And you know what? I'm not going to try my eyebrow design for a little bit. But um, maybe I'll try. I don't know. So, it's neat. I mean, I looked it up. This is a full-size product. This isn't a sample size. It's an actual one. And I think it's like $16 Canadian if you're going to buy it straight off. And I paid less, like, I say approximately $19.50 or whatever because it depends on the exchange rate, but it's always like $20 minus a dollar or $0.50 cents or something. But again, if this is on its own is 60, this on its own is 20 something. This would be like probably around 18 or 20 for one gram more. I got my money's worth. This is just what I'm trying to say. 
Uh, so there's this side. Now I've seen these all. You're supposed to twist it. Oh, there you go. All across the whole nation of YouTube, beauty blogger, with this tip. Let's give it a try. And what's neat about it is pop off the other end and you get a spoolie. So I think it's neat as if, and I'm going to try to use it. I think it's kind of neat for people that need to touch up like on the go or if you're traveling a lot. I don't know. Let's, so you brush it because it's kind of like all in one and I'm that blind. I need to get like this close to see something. So before we start, these are like, you know, as equal as I can get them to be. <clears throat> because your brows are sisters, not twins. So let's see if this works. Oh my gosh. It does. But it's not like a dark thing. I like it. So what it's really doing is, because I saw some, I think it was Alexander Ryan. You can't really write much on your hand. Like if I do my hand, they can barely see it, which is fine. So this is for people that actually have eyebrow hair. Like I do. Like I wake up and my eyebrows are already there. Thankfully. Um, one time, I, <laughs> we're not going to go with waking up. It's kind of scary when you wake up and the chick next to you doesn't have any eyebrows, but you know. But what it's doing, which is really neat, is coloring, and I can't see this, I have to close one eye. It's coloring and darkening underneath, underneath my actual eyebrow hair. So it's not doing anything to my actual eyebrows. It's just making them look fuller and coloring in the parts that are missing, which is amazingly good for me because not only did I lose my hair and kind of still have been the past couple of weeks, but we're on the way to recovery. I lost part of my eyebrows when it came to like losing my hair from anxiety and stress. So yes, anxiety and stress can do a lot of things to your body. So this is the after. I see a difference. I totally love this and I'm going to do the other one so they match up. All right. So now I'm going to talk about how the whole Ipsy thing does influence me. Like that's the whole point, right? One, I try stuff, let people know if I like it or not, whatnot. Um, the grow long leaving conditioner was one of like the first things I got from them. I love it. Um, I'm going to buy it in the store. It's just I didn't have a time. I didn't get a chance to go to Walmart and pick it up yet. Uh, Megan's coming tomorrow, so maybe we'll go around and do that. It was just more expensive at the stores I was shopping at for all my deals I got yesterday. And I can see my hair clip. Like, I found this hair clip. And it's got jewels, so I'm wearing it. But my point is that it does work. So today's eye look, <clears throat> let's go there. Is brought to you by our elf smudge pot that we rehydrated the other day. That's another somewheres around here. I'd say like link it here, but I don't want to do that yet. And this is something that I got two months back, which is the Meech and Mia Copper Loose Powder. This is going to last forever. Again, this is a really great sample size. And the fact that you need like three tiny dots of it to do this it's gonna last forever plus it's great it stays i love it and then we're gonna go to you know eyeliner and it's it's shiny i know and yeah last month i got the siate eyeliner now i really love gel eyeliners but this one has a stamp on it and i i had on my face the other day i went out i mean I'm the kind of person that will wear a star stamp on my face out in public. Even though I'm afraid to go in public, you know. It has nothing to do with me. It has to do with things just scary. But I found the Siate Wonderland at Winners, obviously, for like $2.99. 
I'll look it up and it's way more than that. There's nothing wrong with it. It wasn't open. It was sealed. So yes. Yeah. So yes. Ipsy, you're influencing me. This is a gel coal liner. So it works just like those coal liners. Those smudgy ones. I tried to put it on the... I'm not very good at it yet. But because it's like a gel one, it really glides on really easy. And this one happens to have a little part like a brush if you really want to do that smoky eye look you could really really go there so to all those girls that i mean it used to be called goth but now it's just like whatever you want to do but if you really like that smoky eye this is amazing because again it's really easy to smudge around and it already has the little brush at the end to help you do that plus i like that it's like shiny so, does Ipsy work? Yep, very much so. Am I happy to be part of the Ipsy family? Very much so. Put my glasses back on so I can see something. Because I'm going to check into something else. Now, that's why my screen back here is like that. Because I kind of did some purchases. And um, you're all going to be like, you shouldn't have, you know. Well... I have to put it in here because I'm going to do a shout out to Elf. Elf Cosmetics. Now, anybody who knows me knows I, I really do like them. Yes. And just like everything else in the world, they have their hits and misses, okay? For example, I did get my money back for this. The Prism Palette. I bought it. Okay. So I bought it. And if you can tell, there's no pigment in the last one. It just turns gray. I don't know if it was a bad batch from this one that I got or if they're all like that. And that's the nice, polite email I sent them. Now, Elf, this is what I'm trying to say. Their customer service is very, very good. So don't be mean to them. There's no need to be. I sent them a polite email saying, that, look, did I get a bad batch? Like, this is what it's doing. And they sent me back, you know, the option of either getting a refund or getting a, another one mailed in. Now, I did ask to get another one mailed in, but they gave me money back. Either way, I'm, I'm not going to complain. Sometimes, you know, stuff happens. If you get things in the mail and they're like all crushed up, whether it comes from any brand whatsoever. Because if you look at um, what I got yesterday, it, there's a big sticker that said fragile, but I mean... Do they throw that stuff around? Probably. So this is like in my Elf Beauty Squad. And I want to say, you know, I cashed a bunch of things in because I wanted like one thing. And I'm going to clean this hand off. All right, this hand off with my um, dollar store. Because they work. So the lipstick stains a little bit. Which is actually a good thing. If your lipstick stains a little bit, it means that um, it has really good stain power. So, I went to e.l.f. because I wanted to replenish my favorite lip gloss. Now, I've used it up. Like, it's almost empty. I almost... I used up a whole one. I know I look weird because my glasses on. Yeah, I like it that much. But I have this many points, okay? 1,743 points. Most of them I got because I referred a bunch of people again and I got some points for referring people. Like, I'm never going to be able to spend all these points. So I wanted to cash them in and I was having some problems that, you know, I just couldn't cash them in. So it took me... A good maybe hour. The easiest way to get things done is to go between the hours of, I think it's 9 and 5. That's when the chat people are there and just chat with them. Calling on the phone, you can, but it's not a 1-800 number. So you're calling California, so it might be expensive. Chat's easy. Emails, eh, hit and miss. But chat's right then and there. They're super nice. 
You can even save the log of the chat if you want to for whatever reason. I never do because I don't have to. So either way, they just couldn't, there's just something wrong with my account. I'm assuming it's because too many people got referred age. I don't know. So I just had to create a brand new account. They waited. Like I had two browsers open because we tried the whole like, you know, clear your cookies, clear the cache, all that kind of stuff. It didn't work. So I went to another browser. I had them all at the same time. So we created a new account. They transferred all my points in there. And then I was able to, you know, use my coupons. So I was in there looking for this. And I also decided that I was going to buy myself pretty good makeup brushes. Because, you know, I was going to use my points for free stuff. So I did. And again, it took me a while to get everything done up, but I used my point. So I have a few, like, good brushes, and a lot of them actually happen to be e.l.f. brushes. I either got them in my Ipsy, or I got them as a gift from e.l.f. From, you know, because with this many points, I get a lot of gifts, okay? But all the other brushes that I have, again, we're moving up. These are my goals in life, if you go back to what does success mean to you, another thing I went to. Everything that I have other than that are stuff that I got from, from Wish. And I mean, they did the job, they worked, but like, I'm at the point that, I'm at the point where like, they're falling apart and I keep gluing them back together because they're breaking. Like I'm, they're cracked and Elf has, <clears throat> Amazing brushes. They really do. <clears throat> and So yes, like I said, Elf has amazing brushes and now all the new ones come with these black handles and there's even newer ones that have like this shiny unicorn thing. But if you go to their older styles of brushes with the white handle, they're only a dollar. So that's what I wanted, a set of 12 and it was 12 bucks. And then I was like, well, I may as well replenish this. So we're going to go through the order because I did not pay full price for any of this. Again, I used a bunch of my points. I got the free gift. I got money off. It was way cheaper. This is one of the things I bought. This is the lip exfoliator. Now this is going to be my third one. The first one I had was sweet cherry. This one I picked in pink grapefruit. This is one that I got and a gift for for free and this one is just sugar and I'm just trying them all the flavors but if I don't know if you can see because it's not gonna focus let's try to use something behind it I think you're supposed to do that or something I don't know there you go so that's the grittiness of it and that's what I like the granules are so small and they are sugar they taste great that they really do take all dead skin off because this is a naked cosmetics one lip scrub that I got from Ipsy. So if you can see in there, the granules are way bigger. And I don't know, I just prefer e.l.f. because the granules are really small. And by the way, this, oops, it's $3. That's the price straight off. Usually I get them on sale, and then I, I ended up getting on sale this time too, but that wasn't my point. And then I rebought the one that I just ran out of. Because I love it. I wear it every day. I wear it on its own, on top of other stuff. Great. And then, well, I went for the Blue Onyx one as well. It's the exact same thing, but with like Blue Onyx why not? Again, Elf has their hits and misses, but I've tried enough of the stuff from now. 
I'm, I'm very confident I'm going to like this one. And then I tried something new. This is Metal Matte Liquid Lipstick. Now, I love the liquid lipsticks. Mostly, I love their applicators. They are so... This is one of the liquid lipsticks I have that I wear all the time. And I usually top it off with this one. So, I'm going to play around with the toppers, you know. Why not? I think that's the whole point of stuff. But if you look at their... These are like the applicators. And it's not going to focus. Put my hand in front of it or something. There you go. They work well because you can get into like the crevices and they just apply things really well. And you get a lot. Like this is a pretty big bottle. Like again, this is the one I just got from Ipsy. And this is not a full size from Ipsy. But it's only one gram less of the full size. And the full size is 20 bucks. This is the full size any kind of liquid lipstick. At, with e.l.f. and it's five. I'm not going to go wrong. I picked the color Pretty Penny because I don't have anything in the copper gold shade for my lips. So, you know, why not? And I tried, I just added this on there because I could. We're not going to go into the details of my awesome deal, but, you know, customer service, amazing. Don't worry about it. Again, anybody in Canada, if you ever get fees for customs, which can happen, and they're not lying on Facebook when they go like some people get, some people do. It, it has nothing to do with them. It has to do with CBSA, which is Canada Border Crossing. You can look up the link. I might even put it in the bottom here where it explains. If whatever you order from the United States, be elf or anything else, is over $20 worth not what you paid for but worth because let's put that in declaration you are then subject to maybe paying duties in customs however if what you're buying was made in a nafta country now nafta is a big thing these days because people are talking about it and the nafta countries are canada united states and mexico if whatever you're buying is made in those three countries there's no duties whatsoever that's the whole point of NAFTA. But if whatever you're buying was made in another country other than those three, you might have to pay duties. That goes with everything. Unless you cheat the system, and I probably shouldn't be saying this out loud, but if you buy things on eBay, depending on what it is, they can sometimes write the declaration down as a gift. And if they do, then you don't have any customers little tip I've learned over the years anyway so I'm trying this liquid eyeshadow in cool steel because I don't know why not I like silver colors this I told you they were bringing smudge pots back I got one again three bucks for a smudge pot this is the one we rehydrated the other day so this size this much stuff it's pretty full it I mean it doesn't look pretty like that picture because I redid it. It works great. It's what I have on my face today. You know, this was $1.99. That one's three. I mean, whatever. I I love them. And in the from the camera, they kind of look the same color, but it's not. You'll see them when they get in, I guess. So this is the 12 brushes set that I got for $12. Well, it, that was originally going to be 12, but anyway. They will take the place of all my falling apart brushes. But then I needed a couple more because I love doing cream contour. And I need like these thick ones like this, but they're all breaking. So I did buy some, I think, affordable, not cheap. I mean, I did look them up. Reviews are pretty good, but I don't know. Whether we like to admit it or not, some reviews are paid. Like, people are paid to put that review on there, so I don't know. But they have the density of what I'm looking for, plus the handle seems pretty cute. I mean, if, you know. And then they just explain what they're all for. 
but these are the ones I really, really want. And, and they're, so it's what I wanted in brushes. So that's everything in there. But when we talk about cream contour, let's just add one thing. Cause I had to like rebuy my cream contour. And what I use are the Wet n Wild Mega Glow. They are, I think, $5.99 at Lawton's. Cruelty free, that's great. Um, yeah, I realized because the concealer one is, it was done. I didn't even realize I went through it. That's all I got left in this one. So yeah, I use them. They're worth it, definitely. Um, I just had to put that in there because, I mean, affordable drugstore products don't necessarily mean that they're no good. I mean, some of them are, okay? But like I said, even expensive brands have misses. Anybody heard about like the new Marc Jacobs foundation? It's, it's just not working. Nobody likes it. Nothing bad about, you know, Marc Jacobs. It just... Every once in a while, something they try doesn't work. It, everyone's like that. These are great for cream contour. I love them. And I just had to say it out there that I like it. You know, let's give credit where credit is due. And that's all my stuff. I have a really big mess everywhere. But um, I had a good time. And I'm going to edit all this stuff in. You know, that's what I like to do. So, I'll take my glasses off. So that you can see me. So that I don't look so weird because of my, my lashes. I'm going to get caught and stuff. But, yeah. I appreciate every one of you. I'm getting so many comments. So many good everything. Thank you for everybody that's commenting. Everyone that's there for me. I really appreciate it. And... They f um, I'm glad that I'm from a place, you know, in the Maritimes. Everybody's nice. Everybody thinks about other people, and that's great. So everybody keep loving. And I just, just now realized, because I'm looking over there, I didn't put any setting spray on my face. And setting spray does a huge difference. So I did take a selfie, of course, before this. I'm going to put setting spray, then I'll take another selfie, and we'll compare them to see if it actually works. Like, this is like the ultimate test, I guess. Okay. While I was putting everything away, you know, and taking another selfie, just to see the difference between setting spray, I'll take my glasses off because I don't need to see anything. Um, I do see a difference because I did take the selfies. I do find that it made a difference. I mean, you guys be the judge of it. Really, you guys should be the judge of it. I do think that like colors kind of blended together, which is cool. And when I went, I wet the sponge. So it did get, you know, a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, throw in those that's what she said jokes. I don't care. But I, I'm going to like it. I can tell from like house. I like it. Um, it's probably going to use for like, you know, inside or I don't know. I mean, it's cute. It reminds me of like a marshmallow peep. <laughs> and I did try the Ofra. Oh. Yeah, kids are in the street with their bikes. They like to do that. That's bad. Anyway, I tried um, the Ofra color. And I'm going to try the Beva Topper on top. All right.